<laughs> Hi everyone, sorry about that. This is E, the Sneaky Gardener, and I'm talking today about um, octreotide. It's a um, once a month injection that is supposed to be like a growth hormone to stop the growth of, uh, um, it's called um, a neuro endrican tumor it's a in the kind of like the carcinoid tumor that i already had removed from my stomach that's um turned into um a higher grade of tumor into my liver and i have to take this drug as an injection every 28 days and my doctor says forever you know depending on how long forever is and um I've been doing research on side effects because the paper they gave you, you know, at the hospital talking about it doesn't give you everything. And after taking the first injection, I ended up really sick and back in the emergency room. And um, because I had a hard time describing things, it was kind of like my stomach hurt, my head hurt, and I felt like, you know, a person who was drunk and then passed out and couldn't function and then um i you know it turns out it's like dizziness fatigue um all these things are actual symptoms of the drug when you talk to the manufacturer i had to go i went to wikipedia i went to sorry i'm looking to the side but um it's sandostatin.com and then um, Narvo, N-A-V-R-A-R-T-I-S dot com is the actual manufacturer. I had to find them through Facebook posts. It's really weird. And it turns out um, that food actually affects or interacts with this drug, too. Because Saturday I actually did really well and was actually kind of okay. And um, yesterday I ate and we went out dinner and I had a piece of chocolate cream pie and then came home and got really sick you know like numb tingling sensation in my head and my hands and my arms and when I looked it up this drug can also cause you know symptoms like rheumatic um, arthritis so it is kind of like an arthritis feeling that's happening to me now and it's kind of strange to um, you know like the this drug is nowhere near a cure. The only purpose of this drug is to be a growth hormone to stop the growth. You know, like let's say it's an inch and it's going to keep it an inch versus getting bigger. And then instead of like um, hundreds of little tumors inviting more tumors, it's supposed to block more tumors from starting, but there's near, no real guarantee and it's kind of scary to um now be in stage four cancer when in october i was cured because the only thing that really cures um carcinoid cancer is surgery you know physically removing the tumors and you with the amount of tumors that's in my liver all you could do is a liver transplant and i know don't think that I would get one, you know, I don't think that, um, you know, I don't know what the future holds, you know, all that can happen is a miracle, <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, I see there's two people in the room, but no one asking any questions, but I'm doing this video in hopes of helping someone else like me, you know, that has to take this drug, and I may do more videos on if it, you know, does help me function better and stop the pain because um some of the you know when you look at wikipedia or at the other one you know i um i don't remember which one it had something like morphine effects to where it might stop the pain and then saturday i could actually you know walk around without pain and um walk more than i've walked in a year and so if this injection does make me function better it's really worth it but it's not worth it um because of all the side effects sometimes too if you have to live with you know debilitating side effects 
and with that, it was like the 31st of, um, what was that called? July was when I got the shot, and, um, hi, buddy. <laughs> um, how are you? Um, but when I got the shot, you know, immediately, you know, within three hours, you know, I couldn't function from the shot. I got really sick. And if only every day could be like Saturday, um, that would be fine. And then on the, um, the website, it says to stay away from coffee. But when you look up diseases like liver um, diseases, because this is in the, my liver and my blood work comes back as I got high bilirubin now levels. And that goes into liver um, damage. Hi, Shirley. <laughs> Glad to see you again, too. But um, Betty may know things, you know, too, you know, about liver functions. And, um, you know, food is not the cure for this, but food can trigger symptoms or tr food could make me sicker. Because um, how do you explain me eating strawberries and blueberries? which are good for liver, you know, a blueberry is a good drug, good food to help your liver function better, but it's also sugar, this drug, um, oxy, um, I forget, octreotide, um, it fixes your blood sugars, and, um, what if, um, eating the fruit caused a spike, or a drop in blood sugar now do i have to take my blood sugar levels to see how food is going to react with me and it says to stay you know basically on this website stay away from sugars and coffee and um where like a liver health you know when you're looking up for liver health coffee is actually something good for the liver and sugar actually feeds cancer, so I can kind of understand that, too. So there's so much confusion, and um, continue eating better, and it's possible that the sugar, you know, the foods that I was eating, trying to get weight back on, when I had the cancer at first and got the ostomy back in October, I lost 40 some pounds and then in order to get the reversal surgery in March I had to gain weight and the only thing that I could gain with was you know as you all remember junk food hi Steve um, thank you for the prayers but um, normal foods I still high fiber things don't process so I'm having hard you know really hard time eating the vegetables that I you know that are good for us and you know that because i'm an organic gardener you know um we need vegetables but you know sorry about all the confusion talking too because um i'm kind of damaged too from all this you know trauma stress depression and when i went to the counselor um she said i'm in grief and instead of grieving someone passing away, I'm grieving the loss of me, the loss of being able to grow my own food again and eat all the good food again. And I'm at the mercy of what my body will let me eat. So, you know, without your support as friends, you know, um, I don't know that I can, you know, function again without friends, you know, like Shirley and Betty and Steve, you know, who I acknowledge, you know, are, and this is a live video. You guys have, you know, kept my spirits going and kept me going and all the prayers and you name it, you know, are working, you know, but um, it's a fight to stay positive it's a fight to um not keep crying you know as in it's like a roller coaster of emotions and you guys are helping me through it you know and i love you too betty love you shirley love you steve you know and there's many more of you that you know there's only three people here so you are the three people you know that i'm talking to and there's others that can't be here right now and 
you know, I appreciate you all, and um, I appreciate you listening to me and, you know, helping me through this. And like I said, the whole purpose of sharing this is maybe I can help someone else in the future go to this video and know whether or not that this drug worked for me, you know, by recording my um, interactions with it and um, by seeing, you know, like with the past cancer, I survived the carcinoid cancer in my stomach with the surgery. It cured me, you know, and um, I don't know how this second one came back, but the second one is faster and more serious. And, um, what do you call it? It's, um, you know, I don't know if this shows up backwards, you know, it's a neurochromatic tumor and it's intermediate where the first one was um, kind of like a slow one and it took forever for it to harm me where this one's pretty fast and harming me pretty quick. So everything is putting me into quick, you know, how do I quickly stop this? And it's a control thing too. I need to know more. I need to... I don't trust just medicine to cure me. I need to figure out how to cure myself, too. You know, whether or not the drug's the answer. Because, you know, it states it's not the answer. All it's doing is helping me survive and function. But, um, you know, mental support is possibly, you know, prolonging my health, too. But um, I don't know what else to say other than, you know, come on here and share with you that don't know what's going on with me now. You know, what is going on with me now? Because my last video took like five minutes of looking at bunny rabbits to admit, you know, that I'm not well again. And, um, you know, there's so many decisions to make now how to make the next part of my life easier. But, um... I guess, you know, I'm going to close for now and keep this short and come back on again when I have more answers or more things to share. But I love you all, and I'm, you know, sending kisses and, you know, hugs and love from Missouri. And, you know, definitely, you know, need you guys in my life. Bye for now.